Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to troubleshoot an issue recently reported by one of our customers on Oracle Fusion applications. We install, configure and maintain Fusion applications for our customers where we handed over an environment to a customer who reported that when they log in from FA admin user, this user can't really create any new users. So I'm currently logging on to the Oracle Identity Manager screen if you have noticed here. I'm hiding the URL for security reasons. So I've logged into Oracle Identity Manager using FA admin user. And if I go to the administration screen to create users, so here is my users and on actions, this create user is grayed out. So this is the issue we are going to troubleshoot today. If you need any help on, on your Oracle Fusion applications, drop us an email or contact us from our website through a contact us tab. So in order for FA use admin user to create other users in Oracle Identity Management System, which is linked to Oracle Fusion applications, this user should have three roles. These roles are defined into the block from A team. You can refer to this A team block. And this user should have these two roles, application implementation consultant, IT security manager role and another role called identity Ad user administrator role. So you log out from FA admin user, you click on sign out and then log back in as system administrator, which is Oracle identity manager, administrator user, Excel CCDM and log in as the password. Now this user and search for FA admin user and see what all roles are assigned to this user. So I click on, I've searched for users, clicked on this user and click on the roles tab. This user only got two roles, all users and identity IDM administrator. So what I need to do is I need to assign these two roles, application implementation consultant and IT security manager role. There's another role which is identity administrator. So I'm going to click on assign and search for identity. And you see identity user administration role. So assign this role and say select the role and click on add. Now you have the, you see this user has an additional role called identity user administrator, which will give this user rights to create users. Now other two roles which this user should have is application implementation consultant and IT security manager. So I'm going to search for these two user roles as well. So click on assign IT starting with IT and here, unfortunately these roles are missing. These roles are in Oracle Fusion applications that must be imported into Oracle Identity Manager application. So if you if I go and search for my roles and I really don't see this IT administrator role, which means I must reconcile these roles from Oracle Fusion applications. So the reconciliation, how that reconciliation works is there's a scheduled job which you run to bring application roles or data from Oracle Fusion applications into Oracle Identity Manager screen. So I'm clicking on advanced. Right now I'm on advanced administration and there should be a scheduled job which is here under system management. I have a search schedule jobs. So I click on search schedule jobs and the one I'm interested in is reconciliation jobs. So I'll search for search for reconciliation. So it should be the job should be full reconciliation of roles. So I'm going to see any job related to reconciliation of roles. So if you notice here, we have 
LDAP role create and update full reconciliation. There are two types of jobs. One is full reconciliation and second is create and update reconciliation. Full update, re full reconciliation is that it will bring entire data from my Fusion applications. So LDAP in this case is going to be Oracle Fusion applications and it will bring all the data existing users or new users whereas create and update reconciliation job will only bring users created recently not the past users so i'm going to run this job so select this job and check when was the last time it updated it, it was run on 30th of april so i'm going to run it one more time and see if it brings my roles related to Oracle Fusion applications. Click on refresh. Now the job is running and it takes some time. So if you notice here, job has completed successfully. It took a couple of minutes, I think not more. So it took just under two minutes to complete this job. Now I should go back to administration and search for the roles and should be able to see these new roles. So I'm into roles and I search for roles. And now I see a lot more roles now. So I see roles related to application, search for application implementation consultant. Now I have application implementation consultant and the other role I need is IT security manager. So next task is I search for this user again, FA admin, and assign these two additional roles as well to this user. So go to roles tab for user FA admin. And apart from the identity user administrators role, which I've assigned, I'm going to add two more roles. So click on assign tab and search for IT security manager. So I select this. So I select this IT security manager role and click on add. Now I add one more role, which is application implementation consultant. So again, same thing, select assign application implementation consultant click add so now in oracle identity manager screen we have selected three additional roles to this user now i should be able to create new users as a fusion application administrator user so i sign out here now if i log in as fa admin and password as now, if I see I have a create user role, so I go and create my myself. And last name is Kumar. Organization is, I should be able to search organization. So let's move it here. Organization as, I've already created an organization K21 technologies. Click add here. User type is a full-time employee. We'll cover this design console. Maybe if you're from an identity manager background, you understand what the design console is. Now, my email ID or my user login is Arthur and password is I set a password for myself. If you don't set the login, user login, I think it automatically defaults to first, dot, first name dot last name or something like that. Click on save. Now, I've been able to create user using FA admin, which is highlighted here. Thank you for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you need any help on Oracle Fusion applications or if you want to host your own Fusion applications, go and visit to our site, which is www dot k21 technologies.com and then you go to contact us section and hit contact us